What is it guys, Matosh here bringing you a kind of informational slash opinionated video right here on what I think about the adder and the spoiler. Now all we know about the adder is that it doesn't have a spoiler, right? It's a Bugatti Veyron as real life, like brother in GTA kind of thing, it's what it's based off. And the Bugatti in real life does have a spoiler that comes up and down depending on how fast you're going and when you're braking. Now recently, um, this is what it looks like. Recently we've seen the uh, Progen T20 have the retracting spoiler when you brake, it moves, when you get over a certain speed it comes up and then etc etc. It helps you brake and it does improve the braking within GTA which is super awesome. And obviously this is with a next gen next gen console and the adder was made on the old gen console. Now the Bugatti looks like this. Obviously this is the real life variant with the spoiler it's kind of like a dual layered spoiler where it's got the top spoiler that uh, moves back and forth tilting when you brake and it comes up out of the um out of the car's like body when you get over a certain speed and it looks super awesome and i was thinking about how there's now like animations for braking on the progen t20 how there's a possibility that maybe in an update rockstar should consider putting it on the bugatti veyron slash the Adder. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I think this would be super awesome if we could have some type of retracting kind of spoiler on the Adder. It would make it look a lot cooler, and I think it would definitely be a car that I'd consider buying just because it would look great and improve its braking, maybe. I personally don't have that Adder in GTA 5 because I think there's better cars like the T20 now and stuff. So I think that with this being one of the most popular cars still, I think that there could be an update, or maybe even in Los Santos Customs, get the option to put a spoiler on for a certain price, and you'll be able to get that retracting spoiler, it'll improve your braking, and it'll just make it look awesome. Um, obviously the Bugatti Veyron in real life has a retracting spoiler, and now with the new gen um, mechanics in the game, you can make it do this like we've seen with the T20. Obviously the Adder came in on PS3, you know, two years ago, three years ago when the game was first made. And obviously the PS3 didn't have enough memory size and like processing power to actually try and put these animations into play within the game. It does, you know, it does take up a lot more just to put these little things in. Now also with the next gen consoles, we can see these and we can see the T20 and they've developed it for the next gen. I'm not too sure if it works on PS3 or not. I haven't had a look if um, cars are in PS3. I think they are. Um, but obviously now they've got, you know, improvements to GTA, I can't see why they can't put the retracting spoiler onto the Bugatti Veyron slash the add it in GTA. So please let me know what you guys think. I think this is a super good subject for like a discussion kind of thing. So please leave in your comments what you think, why you think they didn't put the uh, retracting spoiler on in GTA. Maybe they just, you know, thought it didn't need it. But the attention to detail... The uh, Progen T20 definitely shows up the adder, and I think the adder should definitely have a retracting spoiler. And maybe even the other cars they put in have, like, retracting spoilers and stuff like this. Just like some of the lights on the cars don't work when you add a light attachment, I think they should work. Just because Rockstar's good with attention to detail and these little things they've missed out. Anyway, please remember to like the video, subscribe for more GTA content, and comment in the video your opinions. I'd love to read them and find out and have a discussion with you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video guys, have a nice day, and peace.